Hello, this is Major with Major Honey. I'm here today with an episode for my working with other beekeepers. I got my friend Matt here, and we're at his house today, and we're gonna we're gonna do an inspection of his hives we have here and see what we got going on. So here we go. Now, do you want to do you want to lead on it, or you want me to do it? Do you want to? That's done. So I put the super on about a week ago. Uh, I think I've had these bees for the major. Uh, think what about a month now yeah it's been a, a good 30 days so they haven't they they've come up and started looking at the frames uh, they hadn't done anything yet but that's okay it's not we're not ready for it yet but if you don't go ahead and put it on there and start it it might have swarmed on you They've already put the drop this on it though. Yeah. One of these middle frames has some drawn out comb on it right towards the middle. Oh there. yeah, that because they're already moving up. Yeah, I see that now. So I did notice that the other day that they were they're drawing it out, but Oh yeah, they're already drawing it out and got nectar in it. Look at there. Looks good. So that's been about a week's worth of playing around in there. Yeah, so this is the frame beside of it. They're pulling it out nicely as well. Yeah. Oh, they're on the other frame too. <laughs> yeah. They're working it. Look at there. They've got... They've got that one pulled out too. Put nectar in it. Yeah, buddy, that looks good. What I normally do, you know, this little bit of burr comb stuff right here, I usually scrape it off to get rid of it. I've done that the other day and they're already putting it back. Yeah. But that's a, that's your preference, whatever, you know, whatever you want to do with it. But if you don't, at least do it when you go in like that, it'll get so bad it'll make you right, right. make it hard for you to get the top of your cover off and stuff. Now the other day when I got in these hives, like I think I got into them uh, Sunday afternoon. Um, this has been a few days. Uh, I went through and found the queen in this hive and also my second hive there and uh, found the eggs and uh, brood and seem to be doing pretty good. I was able to locate the queen. Oh yeah, well, this is the outside frame here. It's full of, they're working, it's full of, full of nectar. It's better today than it did the other day. Yeah, this, side's all, the this side's almost full. They're not too rowdy. They're not aggravated too bad. Yeah. I, with this hive here, Major, I haven't I haven't had uh, a whole lot of agitation out of them. Those are the ones I got from you. Uh, they've been good bees. Yeah. Wow, this one's <laughs> Hung a little crooked. Yeah. Or that uh, foundation was slightly curved. Yeah, but it's all right. They've attached it at the bottom. It'll be fine. Yeah. The wild up flavor. <laughs> this is the second frame in. Gosh, they've already got it full of nectar as well on both sides. And look at the top, it's already capped. Yeah, yeah it's already capped at the top. 
Look how clear that honey is. Oh, yeah, it's nice. Oh, yeah, that's going to... You're going to like it. Nice little pantry for them. Yeah, buddy. You, you'll be able to pull that honey and use yourself. Yeah, you got plenty of time to pull that honey and use it yourself. and They'll have time to make more for them for the, for the winter. Oh, yeah, that frame's heavy. Yeah. Now, this they used to be. It looks like they probably was brewed in this before, and now the brood's hashed out, and they're back filling it with honey. You got a little bit of pollen left in there, but uh, you know, in another possibly another week or two. I mean, this frame you can probably pull it out and use the honey. Yeah. Might do it. That looks good, and they look. Don't have any brood injury thing. That's straight honey water. Yeah. Now, whenever you harvest, do you uh, uh, do you put the comb back out for them to clean, clean up? up? Yeah. Let them clean it up. And... I use an extractor, you know, and when I get done slinging the honey, I love it. I'll take it and put it back in a box and set it outside, and they'll clean it up, and it'll be clean as a whistle in a couple days. Yeah, then if it's not broken anywhere, that um, you can, and then, then what you do is you put it back in the hive, or you, as soon as you extract it, put it, go ahead and put it back in the hive, and then they'll clean it up and restart on it. Look at there. What a, oh, here we go. He spotted that thing right away. As soon as I open it up, he's like, there she is. Sure enough, he's seen it before I did. That's good. Well, there she is, right in the center of the frame. I need the right here. So she's, she's running around looking. You see those cells that seem like they're pretty much full of Some of those. Uh, like she ain't got a whole lot of places to lay eggs. Yeah. Especially that. See, I gotta we're in a little bit of a shady spot. Need to get the sun behind us somewhere, but right here is some eggs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 those eggs there. Those are one day old, two day old eggs. Yeah. We can see it looks like a small like a little piece of rice. Right, like, a really tiny piece yeah. of rice. Yeah. I guess these are some that are looking to uh, hatch out in a few days. Yeah, they they should be hatching. Fill them with nectar. Or... Well, it looks like they're filling it for nectar faster than she can get around to them. So that's something we need to. But this is still on the outside. We haven't hit the main brood pot right here. You know these main four these main four or so right here are the what we call the main brood chamber. Let's see, all right, now look right here in the center right there. Oh yeah, there's lots of larvae. In you there. see it? Oh yeah. But see, that's only like roughly three or four day old yeah. larvae. So. Yeah, they can't turn any of those into a queen because they've been feeding them stuff other than royal jelly, correct? Yeah. They only take a a, a day old egg or is it one or two well, days? Well, they can go, they, they will go up to three or four days because the initial food that they give all the eggs is royal jelly. Right, right. And what happens is after a few days, then they stop giving them royal jelly. And but then, the, but the queen egg, they continue to give royal jelly right. the whole time, right? See, she's, yeah, she's staying right there. She's right? a she, big girl. Yeah. So we're going to, gently put her back in here but you can see this whole this whole frame right here is full of larva well, that's an outside of, a, of what would have been the nuke the right this frame. would have been the fifth frame yeah. yeah so she's still laying over in the fifth frame and there's some larva see if we can get you a little bit better look at it All right, let's double check where she's at. She's on the other side. 
Or a pair of shoelaces. So we're going to gently put her back in here. Let's see where we're at right here. Keep this smoker going. having trouble finding somewhere to lay because they're filling it up so quick. See those eggs? I had a hot all that right there is egg. If you look down in there, you should be able to see all that eggs in there. Now, another thing, too, that I do, I, I usually scrape this stuff out, too. Okay. You know, it's a, good. You know just to, to keep I something. I tell us something I do. And they're going to continue to do that but this is in plastic thing. this is not all the fruits I said it was more these are like these frames are like five six dollars a piece they are they're the plastic frames oh inside of that yeah oh, okay yeah it's a, it started out with a plastic foundation right I used a few of them and, and you, you wax you just spray you just paint melted wax on there so mm -hmm. they have something to yeah Alright, that frame looks good as well. another queen cup in there somewhere I think on another frame that I noticed almost to the top ready to they've already got it capped up here and she's laid in those big cells which are going to be drones because is that this this drone cups ultimately ruin the 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 honeycomb as a to be used maybe in the future yeah the, they unless they cut it down and redo it or whatever the, it's only going to be a drone. They won't be worker bees. Won't be able to be laid in it. It's too big. They, it seems like maybe the more that they make drones, um, uh, the more that they'll. Uh, the, I guess the less likely you can use that. Yeah, but you know you're gonna, you know, every year or so, depending on, you're gonna redo your uh, foundation anyways. Right. You know, on these plastic ones. You can you can scrape it off and stick it back in there, and they'll start all over. You got some smoke. Yeah. Let's see. I was. You see, those are drones, and we got plenty of drones, uh. so it's fine. If you don't, they're just, they're going to create a mess if you don't do that. Right, right. It makes it harder on you to manage the hive. All right. <clears throat> They've got, there's a lot of eggs and larvae on this frame. Oh, 
Yeah, but it's still brew. Yeah, but see, you, some people would consider that spotty brewed, and it may be. But the thing about it is, is you had you've got a pretty good flow here right now and stuff, and they're bringing it in so fast, they're putting it in there, and there's not a she just don't have room to lay, you know. Right. Let's see where these guys are at. Sometimes I'll just scrape the top off of one just to see where they're at. You know, make sure it's you see a white, you know, a white head or a turn a little dark. Make sure it's not like liquefied or looking crazy looking or something. Right. You know, black or something. Right. There'll be a little black tone to them, but you'll know if it don't look right. Right. But you, uh, what we might, what you may end up doing is on what you've got this one over here. But we may pull like one of these, one of these out. Give them a little bit of time for that brood to hatch, but then, well, you can't, never mind. Because, all right, now see that looks right. See the whole frame is full of eggs. Yeah. Because she finally got, found one that they didn't backfill full of honey before. You see, look, oh, start yeah. right there and look all the way across. Oh, yeah, see I it? see that. Yeah. Now, this one's laid up right where they, she finally found a frame that she could get to before them, before they filled it full of nectar. So, all right, I feel better about a brood pattern now, okay. you know. I thought it might be because the bees was bringing the nectar in too fast. And, but that's what, you, that's what you want right there. They just haven't quite moved. Now, would they move that nectar up to the, to the super ultimately, or will they just draw that out and start putting it up there? They will, they, they might move some of it, but they'll start fresh up there. They'll just keep going. Wow. And see, what you will do is when you inspect this and it's capped, mm -hmm. pull it out and put a new, new foundation in it, new frame in it. They'll draw that out and she can lay eggs in it. Yeah. And well, you, should I put it where I removed one or just yeah. slide them around? Put it where you took it out at. Yeah, see, this one's heavy, too, because it's, look at that. Oh, see, right. now that's pretty, though. Yeah, you know? it's pretty. But she can't lay eggs over here. Right, right. Full, getting ready to cap that off. And this is. Frame the next, eight. Yeah. Or frame nine. Frame nine, yeah. It's like that on both sides. They got a little bit of pollen left over here, okay? And will they take that pollen completely out whenever they get ready to fill They're gonna, the honey and cap it? Yeah, they'll they'll use majority of it to feed the babies, and then right. as they use it, then they're gonna they'll backfill it with honey. See that. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this one that's all pretty much almost full of honey. I'm gonna yeah. move it to the outside frame. Okay. okay. Move this one in that they're starting to pull out on, okay? Right, right. And, and that's a, that's one that I had a, a real crooked, crooked foundation, and I put some monofilament line across through there. And I don't know if that's getting in the way. They don't seem to really like it. Yeah, they don't look like it. They, it looks like they've sort of cut around it a little bit, but that's okay. I mean they'll. They'll work around it, and they're they're just now getting to it to pull it out, anyways. And it was the the tenth frame. Yeah. Now I had one of my other subscribers ask me the other day because you know I encourage you know five frame and eight frame um, boxes mm -hmm. for one of the reasons is the weight you know on your back and stuff, and then this is the other reason is this was the this was the frame that was on the outside. So it takes them a long time to get to it. They usually don't like going out. And then, you know, they're working on that. This was next to the outside frame here. So the egg frame, it usually in a 10 frame box, just like we did, you take the outside frame and you rotate it in so they'll work it faster. Right. So, which is what we just did there. 
But see, they've got majority of honey there, so then you move this one in and they'll work it harder. Okay? Right. Now, in an eight frame box, you you don't have to do that. And bees like to go up. Their natural habitat is like a tree. You know, they're always trying to find a hollow tree or something. Right. <coughs> and they'll go up. So <coughs> if you put a super on there too fast, and which you have, and it looks great, it's ready. Right. They might skip these outside frames and just go up into the super because the they want to go up in this main brood chamber right here and go up. Yeah. And that's why I like a five frame because it's more like a tree. You got five frames, then five frame on top, and they like they like going straight up. And it's really easier on your back, you know. Yeah. And uh, see, and this was the, you know, this one's full of honey as well. So, but. <clears throat> This was the outside frame, but you can see they've, they haven't even touched it right there, pulling it out. They're still working over here. So, but you need to keep an eye on, remember we put it on the, as you're looking, standing behind it, the first frame on the left, mm -hmm. that's the one that's almost capped. Right. So, give it a, a week or so, and I'd come out here and look at that one, <laughs> and it may be capped over, and you can right. pull it out and put you a, you know, a fresh, fresh frame in. And see, because this one's got a little bit of honey in about all of them, it's only got a few empty cells. Right. And then that's what she's gonna come over here and lay, and then you're only gonna have this little small patch of brood, you know, because she can't, she, there's no work for her to lay. Right. You know? Would it be wise to put another brood box on there? instead of the super? Well, the more the more space you put on there, the more they have to deal with. Right. Now, they call it, now you could, you could do that, but I would give them just a little bit more time. Yeah. But what it is, if you look at the space, you don't want to demoralize them. It's called, right. you know, it hurts their feelings, right. is what I call it. And because when you overwhelm them with space, and it's hard for them to take care of it because in order for them to keep the small high beetles and stuff down they walk all the frames so they have to have enough bees for protection kind of thing right. they walk that's why you see a few bees on every frame because right. they're walking it checking it out because at night a wax moth will sneak in and run up here and lay eggs in your cleat bar and and if they're not, if there's not enough bees for them to walk the frames and look for stuff like that and pull it out, then it'll, they'll get overwhelmed. Right. But there's a good chance that she may come up here and lay eggs in the super, which is perfectly fine. Yeah. You know. And uh, but you could now if if they really start working this hard and and fill some bees up. Because she's late, they're still brewed to hatch out. Right. You could take his super, move it up, and put another high body on it if you wanted to. I see. Once they once they've had a few weeks to to hatch out some of that brood. And if you really want to pump them up, if one of your other boxes really has a lot of brood in it, you can take a frame of brood out, shake all your bees off, and then put that frame of brood in here to hatch out, and it'll like give them a shot in the arm, like right. it'll really give them a big boost. Because you can get honey from this box this year right. for you to use, plus how they'll be able to make enough for them to last through the winter, right. and you'll be able to have some to feed your family too. Now, is there another box you want to look at? Yeah. We'll uh, close this one back up. There's no need for that no. now. That's the, uh, that's the hive that I had got from you. potentially just move this thing out of the way because I'm not using it yet. I intend to whenever I get a whenever I do a uh, split. Yeah. Now I was just kind of wondering maybe if it was time or if it would be appropriate to split this hive. Well is it too too late in the year? Or? No you can split right now but you have to decide on what you want to do is do you want to 
you want to raise more bees or do you want to have a hornet honey crop? Right, right. Because if you right now is a, right now they're doing great. If you split them, then you're going to punch them in the head, and they're going to have to build up. Right. And then those frames that we're talking about being filled up may not get filled up. I see. So eat, there's no wrong or right way, uh -huh. but you just have to decide which way you want to go. Either you want some honey or you want some more bees. So this, this, this hive here was a package that I purchased two weeks ago, and... Uh, I put them straight from the package, a three pound package, and uh, I let the queen, I left the queen in the cage and they ate through the candy uh, three days later and I went to check on her and she was out of the cage. And uh, this was a little slower than that other one there, but I haven't had it quite as long. And it looks like they got a great chamber here. And you see there, They've got nectar here and pollen. They're doing they're doing pretty good. Uh, when I did put these bees in this box, I put a, a I took a frame out of that hive of drone comb and it had some had some nectar in it and it had some pollen. And okay, good, it had yeah. no cat brood or anything or anything like that. It was just a, a frame that was full of groceries, I would say. Yep. And I stuck that down in the middle to give them kind of a head start of coming straight from the package to an empty. That was a good hive. idea, yeah. Give them some groceries right. to help get them started. Yeah, yeah. I like it. <laughs> I'm about to so, use that. <laughs> that's something I certainly did do, and I think that seemed to help them as far as giving them a boost. This hive's pretty calm. Yeah. They're both been pretty calm. I thought I'd seen a few eggs on this, but it's making a little bit. See if you, Matt, see if you can. Can you see any eggs in there? Uh, yeah, there's a couple right in there. Like right. right with, yep. Just like a little tiny piece of. Yep, I see it now. Yeah. See, a lot of times you can take the frame and sort of lay it down where you can look in the back side of it like yeah. that. Now, if we had a good sunny spot. You can hold it up over your head and tilt it down like that and you can see Correct. it really good. But this is still what we would consider, even in a nuke, an outside frame. Right, right. They seem to be doing pretty good there towards the middle. Like you were saying, they yeah. like to stay in the middle of the box. And you know, I probably in the future, uh, seeing that these survive the, the winter time, I, Kind of got into this as a hobby, and uh, and if they survive, <laughs> if they saw, if they survive the winter, I'll probably I don't know maybe do some splits and probably reduce my size to eight frame hives, and uh, just seem like they might do a little better with eight framers as far as the weight goes and the space that they have. Do you remember which frame it was you took out of the other box and put in here? It's either that one or the one beside of it. I'm not real sure. Well, see, right here, you can see... See how some of the... Uh, that larva died right there? See oh, yeah. the black head on it? Okay. Will they take that out? Yeah, eventually they'll clean it out. They just don't need it right now, but eventually they'll clean it out. Sometimes I'll just pull it out myself, you know. But see now, I don't know if that, if this was the frame you pulled out, but what happened was they might have been a little bit of eggs in there you didn't notice or something yeah. or whatever, and they wasn't enough bees in there to really take care of all of them yet. So they some, so they had to do what they call selective feeding. So they didn't feed everybody, and then they'll end up dying and turning black. That's not a big deal. Usually once they catch up on their feet and get going, then 
that might have been the frame. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking that might have been the frame I put in there because I put it right in the center. Yeah, and this is the one you got the fishing line across it. So. Yeah. They don't seem to like that fishing line too good. Just had a couple of frames that had some real crooked foundation that I couldn't straighten out. Yeah. I have I have since then took some bobby pins. I put some uh, deep brood frames together the other day and uh, to help straighten out that frame or that foundation, I put a couple of bobby pins in here instead of fishing line. Right. And uh, we'll see if that theory works pretty good. I'm kind of a science experiment for me here. Yeah. nectar up here you can see I haven't seen her yet I found her the other day and she said I found the eggs and I found the well they got this is going to be considered an outside frame too because you know it's on the the far end of the, the brew chamber so Take a look at that man and see if you see any. I didn't see any eggs on that one. Oh, any eggs. I don't either. Yeah, I didn't no, see any. Now this is also the 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 uh, hive that I put the first batch of sugar water that I put the vitamins in there. Well. Right. seem a little slower on these. They just don't seem to have the numbers. Yeah, they just don't have the numbers yet. I ain't seen the queen yet. No. And I hadn't seen a whole lot of evidence of her either, man. So as far as... I haven't seen a lot of eggs, so... Is there a possibility that she could be out mating, or she might be not? She might not be in there. Right. Well, she should already be mated. Right. Once they take their initial, they'll take it, and that should have been done in the yard before she was put in the box. Yeah. Well, I was told she was uh, mated. Right. And uh, when I first got in, and they won't go out no more. Right. Once they're fully mated, they might go out two or three times during the mating cycle, but then that's it. Then they'll go in the hive and swell up, and they won't they won't fly anymore unless they swarm. And then when they're ready to swarm, the bees will stop feeding her as much, and she'll lose weight so right. she can fly again. Right. <laughs> I always thought that was funny. They put her on a diet so they can leave. Yeah, she's definitely not jumping out us out at us like on that other box. She's waving at us on that other box, wasn't she? Mm hmm Well, I'm going to just briefly go back through here one more time because we could have missed her. She, I found her the other day. Maybe been a week ago or so that I was in here. And I saw her. a little hopeful. Yeah, that makes me feel better. <laughs> sure does. But those are one day old eggs. I mean, you, a lot of times I find her on the same frame that I see the eggs on. That happens to me a lot. Check this out here. Yeah. Yeah, we hadn't even really needed that much smoke. Okay. Yeah, see, I got a little sun coming behind me now a little bit. If you want to come over here or see what it, you can get the sun glare in. Oh, then, yeah, yeah. Then you'll be able to see them a lot better. Yeah, so we do have 
we do have eggs right here. It just took us a little bit to find them. But they're right down there in that bottom area. Okay. So like I've said before, Mother, you know, we don't have to see the queen. We see the evidence of her. We don't have to worry about it no more. And uh, so you can schedule the inspection for another, you know, it depends on what your time schedule is. You can go, you know, sometimes I go five days, seven days. I, my, sometimes my weeks are five days and I say a week and it might be five days or seven days. It just depends on what my work schedule is. So let's see, today's Thursday. So I would think about, you know, another uh, looking back in these guys, a reinspection in another five to seven days to see, to make sure you're seeing cat, you should see cat brood by the end. Yeah. You know, and uh, for at least large enough larva to where it's easily noticeable to where it's right before being capped. Right. You know, because right. typically caps in seven to eight days or whatever. So five days, if you go in five to six days, you know, whatever, then, I mean, they're going to be right before capping, those eggs that we just seen. So then you'll know the progression is moving along like it's supposed to. Right. So. All right. See, they're not. You see the vitamin stain? Yeah. In the water. Yeah, that ain't gonna hurt nothing. They're pretty, uh, they're pretty easy going, man. They sure are. All right, guys. We appreciate you watching. This is Major with Major Hunting with my friend Matt here at his B yard, and we'll, uh, We'll see you next time. Thanks, and we appreciate you.